Okay, today we're gonna to try and get you working on extending your thoracic spine, trying to get more range through your thoracic spine by using the roller. Now, I see this all the time, people doing it wrong. So I wanna get you guys working on how to do it right and make sure you get the maximum benefit out of using that foam roller. And a couple of little tricks if you've got tightness on one side more than the other and trying to mobilize some of the ribs. So, normal foam roller, these big ones are okay. You can use any sort of foam roller. I like using the sort of the, the sort of thick ones, these, these big diameter ones. You can use the round ones, which you've got the hole in the middle, that's all fine. But the big things about foam roller and thrust extension, and you need thrust extension to get your arm above your head, you need it for all sorts of things, you know, to stop that terrible office posture. But when people do this, what they tend to do is they just tend to roll the roller like that and extend and come back. And they're not really extending their lower back. What they tend to be doing is they're extending down here in their, lum in their lumbar spine, their ribs flare up, and they think they're doing okay because they can feel the pressure on the roller, but they're not actually isolating the thoracic spine into extension. So what you've got to try and do is start at the point where you're going to stretch it out. Right? Start at that point. And from there, okay, then you've almost got to do like a reverse ab crunch. You've got to hold this on, think about where you're extending, the arms protect your back, protect your neck, and what I want you to slowly tilt back, this roller can't move, okay, so you can't roll the roller, you've got to extend over the roller, and you're going to go back until you feel like you're about to flare up the ribs here, as so they're about to pop up, you go back as far as you can go without really too much pain. I don't want too much pain with this. I just want a stretch feeling, no sharp pains, and then come back. And then what you might do is you do another one of those, like two or three of those, getting back, holding on here, just slowly holding, trying to be right at that point where that vertebrae is that you've got that foam roller on, extending back, coming forward. And then you shift down one vertebrae. Okay, it's not too far, it's only like sort of three quarters of an inch, not very far, and then go back again. And so the, so the, the point where you're trying to stretch is, I mean, you're going to stretch a lot of vertebrae, but you're doing one focus of a section at a time until you almost get all the way up here. Now, it's going to get harder when you get up to around the mid thoracic, around your T4, where your shoulder blades are mostly at, you find you get a bit blocked then. It's like, I can't get back there. And that's where you're going to, have to spend a little bit more time, unless it's sore though. And you hold on here, and then go back, and you've really got to think about going back. And don't be afraid to sort of look back and head back a bit, because you're holding your head, it's not going to extend too much. Breathing out, trying to get some extension through there, and just rest out there for a little bit, and try and get as much as you can, and then come forward again. And I'd go right up to that base of that, C7, T1, with that bump in the back of your neck as you feel, and you work on that. So I'll work on two or three extensions at each position for your little set. Now the little trick I like to try and do is to try and get one side over the other. And what that means is get that roller on a 45 degree angle, a 30, 45 degree angle. So when you come back, you've got to be careful just when you get on that roller, when you come back, if I've got that on a 45 degree angle this way, what happens is I'm hitting my right side first. Okay, so my right side, my thoracic spine, where my costovertebral joints are, and where my rib articulates, I'm going to get that, and you'll, you'll feel that come through. Again, you don't roll over this way, you roll straight back in the same position you're doing, you'll feel that you get on one side more than the other, just really getting into there and back in. Again, you roll it down, Come to the next position, roll it back, watch that flare, don't arch up too much. Coming back, getting that extension, and coming forward again. Do it all the way up on that side, on whatever the, the areas that you feel the tightest in, and again, flip the other way, compare it to the other side. So you can see on this side, if you look at this way, you can see where that roll is hitting me. It's hitting me on that left-hand side, it's not hitting me on the right. So I can really get back in there. Sometimes I can do a little bit of a twist if, I, if I'm careful. And get back and just slowly stretch out. Get some of the ribs involved. And that's some of the things you won't access if you're doing a straight, if you're doing it this way. You just go in here, you'll just find it's just very central. If you're getting on the side, you'll get 
access to all those other areas on the left side or the right side, depending on which side you're doing, and working on those, trying to extend, trying to get as much extension as possible. Because what that's going to do is help you with your left and right rotation as well as your extension, which is really important for when you're working overhead. Okay, so when you're up into here, when you're pressing up in here, if you don't have enough thoracic extension this way, all right, if you, don't, if you can't get in there, you're going to start suffering the shoulder. So start working on your foam roller, and uh, we'll see how you go with that.